For this son of a It's a vlog day, ladies and gentlemen. Eagle Scout to the head, now you're fucking dead. Watch you fucking die with an axe buried in your head. What the hell did I just repeat myself for? <laughs> Don't cry for the dead, yeah, cause, cause they, they cry, cry for you. you. Even though we laugh about it after meth, but they know I'm true. And this ain't no fucking buddy getting it worse than you and me. And ain't no buddy getting it worse than you and me. And we will see you tearing that doll swoop through the caverns of hell. And carry two unfortunate such a video girls. Uh, So I met this girl the other day. Fine as a dime, sweeter than a cherry pie. You know, all the good type of girls. But then I started looking at her. You know what the problem was? What? She was both fucking ugly. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, brother, what the hell did you do with her? Did you, was it like, I, 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 was it, do, did you, do you know if it was the sister of Fat Fuck Barrel Boy from JCW, brother? Like. That's what it sounded like. There was some chick that I just made out of random party ninjas. I tell you the whole damn story. It goes like this, okay? So I was walking through like the country, like, you know, country countryside, like Tennessee and shit like that, right? So so I gotta do the I gotta do exactly how the story went, so mm, the way I talk here. So one day I was walking down the street and I saw this girl. Now I only saw her from behind, but I heard everything she said because I can read minds. Believe it or not, I can, I can. Oh, that's a bunch of shit. But she was on her cell phone and I heard her voice and I, I could tell that she was a stuck up girl, but I didn't think too much about it, you know, because most girls are all stuck up anyway. So anyway, so I started walking up to her and I said, hey honey, you looking pretty fine in them sweet little dimes and those short little short shorts. She looked at me, turned around, she said, oh, thank you. And before I could even say anything else, her face, her face. Tell you what, brother. Did her face slap your face? Her face just came out of the, like a socket and just like slapped my face. I, I don't know how the hell that happened, but... Jesus! It was like, what the fuck, man? I, I tell you what, it was just like... Yeah. My granddaddy had that issue about 50 years ago. He was telling me about stories, and then he came across this one woman who, were, who was in her late 40s, brother. And he was about 35 at the time. He had that same situation. He walked up right up to that woman and straight up asked for her number. She turned around, and her face flew off of her skull and slapped the living shit out of my granddaddy. Let me tell you, brother. She was ass ugly, too? Yes. Her face literally came off her skull, brother, and fucking slapped him silly. And he went towards the bushes booking it, brother. What up, Exit Chaos? I'm in the Lucha Show. Motherfucker going against rematch against the Corvish Battle tonight. With that boy all over that ring, showing what chaos is all about. I'm the infamous man, Mickey and TKX. Cameraman TKX behind there. What up, ninjas? What up? Filming it. That's what's going on, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, 
welcome to the Lucha Libre show. We got X-Shay Chaos up in the house tonight. He's gonna do some damage to this motherfucker. This is how it's all gonna come down to it. You know, this is how we run up in the game. This is how it's gonna be. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Get that first clip of what's going on backstage before I go out. Even though I shouldn't have him there. Then you go. 
Jack, get in there. Get that skill, man. What is wrong with you? You ready? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? All right. Hey. Oh, 
boy win. Get in there. What was that, drum boy? You can't do that. You can't do that.